My name is 24 Heaven, and I blew a band. You may know me from Sacrifices, Safe Mode, Blood Diamonds. You might know me from Little Baby Heart and the Ever Tour. You might know me from the North Side, the East Side, the West Side, Vine City, Simpson Road, The Bluff, Four Seas in Tomerville, Mechanicville, Pittsburgh, Ledger Arm, Simpson Road. My last regular job was, my mama had put me on to this job. Uh, she owned her own concession stand at Turnfield Braves Stadium. I was working the beer porter. You have to actually be a certain age to work the beer porter, and I didn't suppose to be at the beer porter. Someone was actually doing a favor. They give you these pouches, one person to pouch to take care of the whole 15 crew beer porters. The beer porters are the ones that you push to have beer that you can, you know, serve to the fans that's at the games. And the beer porter, there's one person that control 12 to 15 people uh, with funds financially, and they, one person pass out the funds. This particular person happens to be moi, and I didn't pass out no funds. I got the money and ran with it. <laughs> then I had, I couldn't even go home. Come on, mama, she turned me on to the job, and you know, she was mad as hell. I came over there, I, uh, I put like, I put like fifteen hundred dollars up on her rug. I ain't even go back home for about a week. I was probably like seventeen, eighteen then. You no, know, I didn't go to jail. They gave me a payment plan. I was getting heavy into music, finding myself in the music game, and then I ended up getting caught up being incarcerated. Uh, I went to prison for six years. I had a ten to seven in the state and I had a six-year sentence in the feds, um, but a concurrent sentence, which means that my state sentence and my federal sentence will be ran together, and I just served one sentence in total. When I left the streets, I had a family behind, you know. My nephews and nieces, they looked up to me like they, I was their only, you know, hope to, you know, becoming successful or becoming somebody important to the hood because, you know, even though I did a lot of wrong in the hood, and went to prison for, you know, I've uh, been incarcerated for a majority of the things that I've been, you know, blamed for doing. But I always looked out for the hood, you know. I ain't never do nothing to nobody that, you know, that, that was in the hood, you feel me? I was like the Robin Hood I took from the rich and gave to the poor, you feel what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's my way of, you know, saying that prison changed me because it took that for me to be sitting in a cell for, you know, uh, 50, 50 months. When I got out, um, the things I did to, you know, prepare myself was, I always did a lot of reading in prison, so, you know, that was just to get myself mentally prepared for, you know, whatever may come along throughout this journey, because I knew I had myself set, like, fuck that, I ain't going back to prison. I, I'm finna do music, this hit. Ain't no other options, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I knew I was determined, like, this is what I was gonna do. It wasn't nothing else I couldn't do, so I got myself mentally prepared by um, reading books. So, after I got out of prison, my uncle helped me get this gig with construction work uh, because my parole officer was kind of like, why are you not having a job? Or why aren't you uh, in school? And, you know, at the time, you know, I wasn't trying to go back to school at the time because, you know, my mind wasn't prepared for that. My mind was prepared for music. So when I came, I came home, I knew what I wanted. I knew what I was going to do. I ran into some people that I knew from back in the days, and my best friend was out. And he was like, bro, you don't do with the music no more? And I'm like, hell yeah, I just, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with the music. But at the time, I had a job with the construction work, trying to keep the parole people off me. And, you know, I'm telling him, like, bro, I, I need some help. You know, and he was like, look, I'm going to turn you on to my people. You know, I'm going to turn you on to my people, um, Woody and Cat. So, you know, I'm like, bro, I don't want to deal with nobody that ain't that ain't been through now. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, when we were growing up, like, I like to deal with people that been through something, been through a struggle. Uh, some type of situation that, you know, it, it makes me safe. It makes me feel safe because I feel like, okay, this person I've been through something so they know how to hold themselves. 
when you know Ty call or if Ty call, uh, no matter what situation. So when my friend turned me on to these people, I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go check them out. And you know, I talked to them, and they were like, shit, you ain't got no music ready. So I'm like, nah, I ain't got no music yet. I'm like, well, shit, I'm gonna take my music, you know, myself and do it. You know what I mean? And, he was like, nah, 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 just be patient, man, just be patient. I'm going to put it together for you. And then, like, a week after that, shit, we had a date. We was dropping everywhere on my first, my first project, first project from coming home from prison. But my breaking point was, like, when the people start gravitating to sacrifices, like, the streets pit sacrifices and like the people in the streets know my struggle I come from the struggle with them like and I still run the streets with them every day so it kind of like they understand my pain they know me and what I'm saying is true and I'm speaking on uh, 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 facts so it kind of like make them feel like they're a part of me because they grew with me so when sacrifices hit the fan she came back with safe mode you know, that's where the fire started coming. Like, then I started getting a lot of feature with a lot of people like the uh, 21 Savage, Lucci, Marcel Duke. Um, just getting featured with a lot of people. Like, that's, 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 you know, solid that I speak for. I vow for on um, my level, you know what I mean? Because I don't get into it where other people got going on with other people, but I know I keep it solid within the ones that I deal with, you know what I mean? So, when I start buzzing off safe mode, I got my breaking point. Then I dropped the project called Safe Mode. Well, I come from the street. I ain't never knew nothing about no damn bank account. So, now that I know what they would check your account. So I checked my account and it was like, overload. It was on overload. It was on overload and I was like, damn, man, PJ really blessed me. And um, I'm, I'm I'm very thankful, you feel what I'm saying? P was the first one gave me my first big check. You feel what I'm saying? Like, without even signing the paper yet. He gave me a check without even signing the paper yet. My first big purchases was, um, well, I bought this, they just bust, bust down, you feel what I'm saying, 41 miller, millimeter. Um, I paid like 32000 for this through Wi-Fi, unlimited jewelry. Like, it's the first thing I bought myself, you feel what I'm saying, after I got, got my first load in. I, uh, I already had this piece before I had my load right here. I got this piece right here with a gift uh, on the harder than ever to from my management and my my label. This safe mode piece. This was my first. This was a gift. This this is my first piece. I actually purchased myself. I paid twelve thousand dollars for just this piece alone. These are twin other piece. Each one of these links right here, motherfucker, twenty a piece. And one day, I spent twenty thousand dollars cash on me, my sister, my sister kids, me, my sister kids, my sisters, and I only had one child at the time. I spent twenty thousand cash on clothes, and shoes for Christmas holiday because I have twenty six nieces and nephews. And four sisters, and I'm the only one. So Christmas had to be big. And my sisters each have like six or seven kids apiece, except one. One have eight. So you gotta go hard for Christmas for the kids. This is shit I do. I had bought this uh this Louis Vuitton jacket. I think I paid like twenty twenty six hundred dollars for it. Like it was like this suede, like y'all probably seen it on my Instagram. Now look, check this out. Don't judge me though. So I paid like twenty six hundred for the jacket. I go to LA to shoot a video. I should, but after I purchased it, I was like, man, 
ain't no way in hell I just spent twenty six hundred dollars for no jacket. And then again, I'm like, you know what? I did. So I regretted it off the muscle. I'm like, man, I shouldn't have did that. I know I shouldn't have did that. But hold up, wait. I bought a skull cap to go with this jacket. A Louis Vuitton just skull cap to go with this jacket. Now I'm gonna tell y'all how I got out, how I got away. So I bought, but 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 I purchased it, but my hat wasn't in my bag. So my management called Louis Vuitton when we got to uh, LA. They called Louis Vuitton. She was like, hey, the hat is not in the bag. So they said they would call um, and run the cameras back and stuff. So they ran the cameras back. And um, when they ran the cameras back, they see that the hat literally wasn't put, put in the bag. So I got a free wear out of that jacket because I called their ass back and said, I don't want the jacket because you ain't got the hat in the bag. So I got me a free wire, a $2,600 jacket. My kids' life is gonna be way different because like I'm, I'm working on like finding different, you know, um, things that'll help them in the long run, like uh, opening accounts, trust funds, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want my kids to be straight. I don't want them to want nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, Black Hearted is on the way. Safe Mode is out right now. Blood Diamonds is out right now. Future Little Kid in Miami Beach. Set the streets on fire. Uh, Heavy Road is out right now. I'm gonna be on tour with a lot of different people this year. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna be ma maneuvering around. You feel what I'm saying? All uh, your local spots. I'm pulling up on you. Just wait for me. I'm on the way. My name is 24 Heavy, and I blew a bag. Let's get it.